Well, there's nothing like a little bit of Pete to make you think about SEC football, huh? Okay, my name is Chris Teets. I represent FSG Bank, one of the sponsors of this evening's events. I was offered the chance to give this introduction because I'm a 1985 graduate of the University of Alabama. I'm oh, sorry, that's the University of Alabama. And while I've uh, known for nearly a year that I'd be speaking uh, this evening, I fretted over what to say standing just a few miles from another great SEC school just up the road. I could stand here and I could post statistics to a crowd, but you probably know them better than I do, so I won't do that. Uh, instead, I'm going to briefly highlight a bit about the man, the man that we don't see as much in public. Sorry, Kurt. Uh, Nick has been married to Sherry for over 30 years. It's interesting that they met. It's interesting that they met at junior high science cap, and I think that that just simply proves that this is the man that helped to make geek be cool. Okay? Did I just call you a geek? I'm sorry, coach. Um, Nick is also the father, uh, is a father, and I've recently seen some of his proud papa posts uh, celebrating his kids' accomplishments on Facebook. Uh, just last month, I got to see him proudly handing a diploma to his daughter as she crossed the podium uh, just a few steps ahead of my own daughter in graduation in Tuscaloosa. Nick and Terry are also philanthropists. Through direct giving and through the Nick's Kids Foundation, they've raised millions of dollars for worthwhile causes and organizations providing support to children and housing options around Tuscaloosa. But before we see a brief film introducing uh, the coach further, let me start by asking a question. Who knows where you were on January 26, 1983? Anybody? Okay. I was in Accounting 202 in Bidgood Hall, taught by Gorman Jones. I can't remember what I had for lunch today, but I remember that, when I found out and learned of the death of Paul Bear Bryant that day. Bear's death marked the end of an era and the beginning of a long, dry spell for my alma mater, where every coach who came in after seemed to be in the shadow of the great Paul Bear Bryant. Tonight, I'm honored to introduce a man who stands tall on his own merit, yeah. casting his own shadow of greatness. <laughs> casting his own shadow of greatness through achievements of benevolence that will have a legacy that will live for generations both on and off the field. Please direct your attention to the small screen set around here, and then join me in giving a warm welcome to Nick Saban, coach of the national championship winning Crimson Tide from the University of Alabama. Yeah. 